up you guys? We have made it here to Isla Mujeres. We made it yesterday on the sailboat and we got all checked in today with customs and immigration and all of that. And now we are just exploring, gonna grab a drink and something to eat, but we just wanna let you know we made it. That's right y'all. y'all so here we are at Cocteleria Picas in Isla Mujeres. Cheers babe. Cheers babe. Delicious. We got some nachos natural. It looks like it's got some cheese and some beans and then we have all of the little fixings over here. Sean got some camarones or camarones. Garlic shrimp. Yes and all the little sides. We've got the beans, the rice, a little salad mix over here. And then I got, I don't remember how you say it in Spanish, but I got the seafood tacos with a view. Sean said that he had to have one too, so we're waiting on his margarita. Oh, it's so good. I ended up getting the Suezas. It's got chicken and cheese, and then it's covered in a green sauce and cheese and salad, and I've got a little bit of rice on the side. Oh my God, I can already tell it's gonna be delicious. I can't wait to dig in. And then Sean ended up getting this delicious looking, what is this called, Sean? It is the tricolor enchiladas. Tricolor enchiladas with his little side of rice as well. Can't wait for Sean to dig into that, and I'm definitely gonna have a bite of his as well. So let's dig in. First bite impressions. Oh my god. This is the best Mexican food I have ever had. You have got to try this, babe. What do we think, babe? This is on point. On point? Good stuff. Good morning, it is a brand new day in East Lemuiris, Mexico, and we are here at the marina and we thought that we would actually give you a grand tour of this amazing marina before everybody else wakes up. So, babe, what is the name of this marina again? It is the Marina Puerto Isla Mujeres, and it's also on the grounds of the World Mark Resort by Wyndham. Yes, and it is just so nice and breezy this morning. We're actually walking to Lila during this tour.
There's a few cool things that they offer, like they'll do your laundry for you, or you can use an outside laundry service if you choose, but they do have that option available here. And y'all, they even have a full service concierge staff here at the marina, and they can arrange stuff for you, like scooter rentals, golf cart rentals, and they can even arrange excursions for you, which we're gonna do this week while we're here. We're gonna see one of the seven wonders of the world, Chichen Itza. They are also clearly pet friendly here. And you know what else? We're going to see Chichen Itza. And one of the staff members, Jarita, she's so sweet. She's actually going to make sure that Delilah is taken care of while we're gone, give her walks, feed her, and all of that jazz. So they really are going above and beyond. And, and y'all, another cool thing about this particular marina is that they also have their very own boatyard and travel land. So if you needed a particular maintenance event or needed to haul out, you have the ability to do it right here at the same marina. So Puerto Isla Mujeres Marina, top notch. is to stay on the anchor as much as possible as we circumnavigate the world on Telaru. But there are gonna be times where we do stay in a marina here and there like this one. I wanted to highlight the pool, so we're gonna go there next. This pool even has a swim up bar and I have thoroughly enjoyed editing with this kind of view. What'd you say, boss man? It's a great morning in East Lima Harris. Woohoo! And here at this resort, they have tennis courts and they even have a spa. One thing that's been the absolute most shocking to me is just how lush and green Mexico is. I didn't realize it was just so lush and foresty here. Okay, so I wanted to give you a little tour of the amenities here. So they have shower amenities and they've got a toilet here, a bathroom that you can use. But one thing that I'm really confused about and I'm going to do research on is every bathroom that I've gone to here, I've always gone to the ladies' bathroom, there's no toilet seat. Let me show you. So yeah, that's the toilet, no toilet seat. And that's the way it has been in every bathroom that I've gone to so far in Mexico. And I've gone to maybe six or seven. They've got nice double sinks here, a really nice big mirror, which is great for getting ready. I haven't been getting ready in here. I've just been showering in here and then going back to the boat and doing my makeup and hair, but it's a nice mirror for that. There are two showers right behind me, one over this shoulder, one over this shoulder. Let's go into the one that I've been using every day. There's just a little hook for your towel or your uh, wet bag in here so you can bring your soap and stuff. There's no shelf or anything, which is fine. I don't think I would put any of my things on a shelf anyways. And then you just got this nice wood door. It truly is like an aesthetic like vibe in here. I'm a fan. It's better than like a campground or at least any campground that I've ever been to and I've only been to like two. All right, you guys, Sean got us a golf cart. So we're going to explore. town which is like a mile not even a mile something like that and Sean went to exchange some of our money because it's definitely cheaper if you exchange your money and use pesos versus just using US dollars because they upcharge you in like at least every place that we've spent any US dollars they upcharge a little bit so he went to go exchange the money we've, we exchanged some but we have still been using some US dollars so he's just going to exchange some more
local lunch recommendation, so we're flipping a Yui. <laughs> and we're gonna go try it out. All right, baby, looks like we found the place. That's right, let's do it. Woo! All right, y'all, so here we are at Playa Loncheros, and we are at La Casa del Ticincheck. This is a wonderful restaurant that was recommended by us to a local shop owner. <laughs> it was recommended by us to a local shop owner, so we are super excited to try it out. Cheers to that, babe. Cheers, baby. Where will we go next? Will it be ice cream? Will it be a frozen, delicious, creamy dessert? Will it be a cold cocktail? This, I do not know, but he does. So, he's taking us somewhere. been riding around Isla Mujeres on the golf cart looking for the Malacan of Isla Mujeres and it's a little tricky to find because there's a bunch of one-way streets up and down that you can't go down in order to get to it and to be quite honest it was a bit of a pain in the <laughs> to find. so in order to numb that pain a little bit here we are at the soggy peso and we're gonna have a couple of painkillers cheers babe cheers baby <laughs> First ever painkiller. Tastes like a pina colada with ginger. Yeah, I like good. it. We had 
had a great day exploring Isla Mujeres, but we actually sailed all this way to Mexico to witness one of the most iconic locations in the world, Chichen Itza, one of the seven wonders. So now we are heading back to Teleru at the marina to prepare for this big adventure that we will be going on tomorrow. All right, you guys, that is going to close out today's content for the day, but we will see you tomorrow or the next day. See you soon. Next time on Sailing Teleru. Okay, I think that we are officially about to see Chichen Itza. That's right. We made it! brand new videos twice a week so y'all be sure to like share comment and subscribe